Hello everyone, my name is Chris and I'm gonna show you how to convert and modify this 1932 Ford to using games such as Gaslands or Autocube. Or if you're a Mad Max fan, you might just wanna put it on your display. Enjoy! So here's the closer inspection of the car. I will start with drilling out the rivets. Once disassembled, I put the engine part in bleach to dechrome it. The body doesn't have that many details and I'm gonna cover most of these up anyway, so I decided against stripping it. I sanded down some of the panels where I knew I would be super gluing bits on. I didn't like the air intake, it was tiny and lacking detail, so I used my Dremel to hack it off. The cut was very rough and uneven, I've used a modeling file to make it flush, so I can glue on the replacement. I swapped the old one for much bigger one from implements of the carnage set from North Star figures. When I dry fitted it on, I realized it started too big, so I chopped the back of it with clippers, then sanded it down to retain the curve. I wasn't a big fan of those side exhausts neither, so I got rid of those too. Then I filed them down to make it flush. Now, let's do something about all those windows. I've used some plastic card to blank the rear one, Dry fitting it on to make sure it fits. Then I used a pointy sculpting tool to add rivets prior to gluing it on. Aluminum mesh was used for side windows. I've tried cutting it with knife, but I found it cuts best with a pair of sharp scissors. Bent it to shape using file and glued it in place using super glue. I always dry fit all the parts first before I glue them on.
I did the same thing on the other one. I decided to add firewall out of corrugated plastic. Sadly, I've lost some of the footage but there isn't much to show. Just cut out a little square for that tab to fit into, then super glue it in place. And by using the car as jig, I've cut it down to the correct shape. When I tried to put it back together, two little pieces on the engine part were stopping it from fitting perfectly, so I simply chopped those off with knife and clippers. Also, now was the time to permanently attach engine to a body with generous amount of superglue and accelerator. Notice that I didn't bother painting the interior, as it's not gonna be seen once I cover up the windscreen. I've used thin strips of plastic card in my super glue palette, which thanks to editing magically appeared on the screen out of thin air. Fitting those was kinda tedious, but I just took my time and again, thanks to the magic of editing, you don't have to see me struggle. I've noticed two horizontal bars were not strong enough to support vertical ones, so I added a third one on the top. I made those longer on purpose so I can put them to size once glued on the model. I also applied a layer of thin super glue with toothpick to reinforce all the joints. Gluing the air intake on was very easy thanks to all the prep work I did earlier on. I 3D printed some very cool oversized exhaust I found on Thingiverse and decided to use them on this car. I've used starring rods to fill up the empty space between engine and the exhaust pipe. I glued the rod first and cut bits off little by little to ensure a perfect fit. That ugly super glue joint was later covered up with yellow masking tape, which for some reason I didn't record.
I did exactly the same thing on the other side. Here is when I realized there is no way to get in and out of the car, but I'm gonna address that issue later on. I've reused rear wheels and gonna put them in front and for the rear ones I've used some random wheels I bought on eBay. I've added wheel spikes to them which again I found on Thingiverse and printed on my Anycubic Photon resin printer. I've noticed there was a gap between chassis and the engine part, which was just the same thickness as my thinnest plastic card. I made a little mark with knife to indicate where I need to fill up the gap. Cut out little tabs, super glue them and shave excess off with exacto knife. That part just below wheel arches was looking a little bit empty to me, so I've used some diamond pattern plastic cards to add extra detail. I simply eyeballed the shape of it, and once I was happy, I made a mirror image and glued it on on the other side. I often buy cheap tank model kits with only scavenging in mind. I've used a Sherman top hatch, rounded the bottom a little bit and glued it on the roof. I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna do with the rear of the car, so I searched through my trusty big box of beads and I found a 3D printed gas tank that fits perfectly on the boot. It was a matter of gluing it on and running a wire leading from the tank all the way to the engine. So, there it is, a converted port. It looks a little bit funky with all those different colored bits and no tires. But just make sure to watch my next video to see how it turned out after painting. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.